This is the 2019 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT53 four-door coupe. Today we're working with our friends at Sears Imported Auto, selling beautiful Mercedes-Benz cars and SUVs. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys in a Ride. ride. And Nathan, let the folks know what we're taking a look at today. Oh boy, we are taking a look today at the 2019 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT 53 four-door coupe. That's right, and if you want to stay up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you want to keep up with all the new technology that's built into them, and you like cool collector cars, take a moment and hit that subscribe button down below, and hit that bell notification up above so you never miss a video. That's right, so uh, I don't know, Nathan, what do you say? Oh, I say definitely. Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. <laughs> Today we are riding in the 2019 Mercedes-Benz AMG, <laughs> AMG GT 53. Boy, oh boy. Just don't run over the guy in front of you. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you, that just takes off. You're just listen, slowing down. Listen, listen. Crackle. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's, that's a speed limit already. Whoa, you jump from 46 to 65 that fast. It just, yeah, just instantly. Okay, so you you took my talking point. <laughs> well, sorry. I'm driving a 429 horsepower car. But I will say this. Uh, d despite the fact that it is uh, definitely a sports car, yeah. it was easy to get in. It's, it's low center to the ground, but not difficult to get in or out. I'm currently enjoying the beautiful massaging seats. I didn't turn Rob's on. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just enjoying the ride, period. This has a very different center console than the, than the, the other Mercedes that we've driven. Mm -hmm. And I really like it. You know, a lot of the buttons are backlit, uh, but, they are, but they're physical buttons. And you, they, you actually push them, and down they go, and up they come. So... Um, really, really nice. Um, everything is is so easy to see. It's got the uh, MBUX system on there. Absolutely love those large screens, and uh, everything just, as Rob likes to say, falls to hand. I mean, it's it's easy to reach everything. Heads up display is amazing. Parking, 360 camera, um, the swivel dynamic gu guidelines. Yeah. It's as easy to park as as uh, as it gets. <laughs> and you know the great thing, and Rob will talk about all the driving stuff on it. But you know, when I first looked at this car, I thought, okay, it's a sports car. It's it, that's mainly what the thing it's going to be designed to be. Mm -hmm. But Mercedes Benz did not stop at the outside or the uh, engine or the suspension or the steering. It continues right on to the inside. It's just amazing everything that this car has on it, and we'll see that later. So we're going to pull over here in just uh, as soon as I can, and uh, we're going to let Rob drive. I notice you've gotten on a stretch of highway where there are no off-ramps. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Gee, did you plan that one? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. That's all I can do, folks. I hit the speed limit. Oh, kind of slow man. Down. It, it just doesn't stop pushing you into the seat. That's straight six. It's straight. It's linear. It's straight. It pulls like a freight train. And I Man, love the heads-up display here. This is nice. Yeah. That's... You know, and the cool part about this is it's nice to hear that exhaust, but if you don't want to hear it, listen how quiet it is in here. Um, but you know, the acceleration, we I joked earlier that Nathan's already taken one of my talking points away, but it's phenomenal. We just saw that. It is beyond quick. And that that uh, whole EQ boost part, I'll explain it a little bit later in my outside review. It's amazing it technology. It really kicks in. It can spin up to 70,000 RPMs, Nathan, in I a know. third of a second. Yes. That I just, I still can't wrap my head around that. 
that's like talking nanoseconds. It's like, whoa, I just, it's crazy. And you know, one of the cool things, and this is a Mercedes, so I don't expect anything different, but this is just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the fit and finish in here, it just, oh. it, it, it looks like it all belongs together because it fits absolutely so well. Everything is tight. All the stitching is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, the wood trim, the, the uh, brushed chrome, it's just nice. And then you've got all the ambient lighting, which I know you'll be able to show the folks you can change that in a yep. whole bunch of different colors. I know you love all of the uh, advanced technology and stuff, but to me, that adaptive cruise is fantastic. Yeah, that is, that, I, I like that too. Yeah. So, you know, sound, wind, quietness, you know, how, how quiet the car is, we talked about that. But also, you know, you're going to talk about, and I will too, uh, briefly, some of the safety systems on here because, you know, it's a Mercedes Benz, it's an AMG, it's a top line. So, in order to go fast, you got to be safe and you got to be able to stop fast. You've got a lot of other safety features built into this car. So, oh, we'll cover those there's just a ton. as we go. So, coming up next, my um, trip to Florida in this <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> and if Nathan behaves, he gets to stay in. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, if not, he may if wind he's up. He's lucky. I'll let him drive <laughs> once. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm holding the steering wheel. Right I don't now. care. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, my review of the outside, and then later on Nathan's uh, tour of the inside, and then we'll also, like he said, have a separate video to show yep. you all the technology and highlights of this beautiful interior. Absolutely love it. So stay tuned, folks. The first four-door AMG GT opens a new chapter in driving passion. A turbo inline six teamed with an electric EQ boost and AMG Performance 4Matic Plus. Its cabin is specially appointed to share a wealth of luxury among four fortunate occupants. Its four-door coupe designs proportions and details directly reflect the capabilities within. Long, low, and wide, its muscular fastback shape combines excellent stability and aerodynamics. And from its signature grille to its large wheels and wraparound LED, LED taillights, it carries the presence of its AMG GT Coupe siblings while carrying four adults in style and in comfort. This is the 2019 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT53 four-door coupe and it's presented here in polar white with AMG black Napa leather. Now it is powered by an AMG enhanced, breathed on and hand built, three liter inline six cylinder turbo with EQ boost and electronic auxiliary compressor producing 429 horsepower, 384 pound feet of torque. The EQ Boost integrated starter generator teams with a 48 volt lithium ion battery and power supply uh, for the formerly belt driven components like the water pump and air conditioning compressor. Uh, these advancements help reduce both weight and they enhance the underhood packaging. So you've got more room and you can actually make it lower or higher or wider, whatever you need. The starter generator can supply up to 21 additional horsepower at times and 184 foot-pound of torque, allowing for fuel-free coasting and recapturing of energy during deceleration. Now, it is moved along with an automatic transmission that is a nine-speed AMG Speed Shift TCD, TCT. <laughs> its drive configuration is uh, AMG Performance Formatic Plus, which is all-wheel drive, capable of zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds. That's awesome. Now out front, you see that it does have the body-colored bumper. You do have the LED daytime running lights, LED headlights, and out back, the LED tail lights. We'll show you that in a little bit. It does have the active LED high-performance headlights, adaptive high-beam assist. You do have uh, speed-sensitive rain-detecting variable intermittent wipers with heated jets and it has also a heated windshield. Along the side you see it does have the adaptive four-wheel multi-link AMG ride control sport suspension and the fuel economy on this vehicle is 19 city 20 highway uh, excuse me 24 highway. The, the wheels are 20 inch AMG multi-spoke 19 by 19 and a half front and 19 by 11 uh, rear. The tires are 265-40ZR20 up front, 295-35ZR20 out back. 
It does have regenerative four-wheel disc brakes with four-wheel anti-lock brakes, 14.2 inch front and rear ventilated disc. Has brake assist, hill control, electronic parking brake, and electronic stability program. You see also, uh, this one actually has the black accented mirrors, uh, which are power heated side mirrors with uh, driver auto dimming, power folding, and it has the integrated turn signals. This also has a perimeter approach lights, the body colored uh, door handles with the chrome caps, and you see it does have the special black side window trim and black front windshield trim as well, uh, which is part of the AMG Night Package. It also has uh, the AMG Night Package side seal inserts, uh, the uh, AMG exhaust tips, the front black sporter, uh, spoiler, splitter, uh, with the black AMG mirror covers and the rear diffuser insert. Let's take a walk around back, take a look at what we got there. Okay, out back it does have the body colored uh, rear bumper and you see it does have the black rub strip and uh, the black strip fascia accent down below. As I said, it does have the LED brake lights. This does have the AMG Performance exhaust system. It has dual stainless steel exhaust with chrome tailpipe finishers. It also does have a power lift gate, a rear view camera, rear cross traffic alert, active parking assist with automated parking sensors as well. This also does have the multi-stage active rear spoiler, which is an electronically controlled spoiler that deploys at five stages of angle and height based on speed and driving modes. And we're picking up some leaves here. Okay, so from zero to 50, it lies flush as you see here uh, for clean appearance and to protect it while it's parked. From 50 to 87, it rises two and a half inches to optimize drag and efficiency. And then above 87 miles per hour, it reaches five and 5.1 inches to optimize air resistance and stability at speed. Now there are additional settings, lower or higher, and they are engaged at certain speeds when you have it in the Sport Plus mode or when it detects highly dynamic driving. This car is always thinking for you. Okay, car cargo capacity. Well, the cargo area is only really a few cu cubic feet larger than the coupes. However, with the sedan's flat load floor, it does make for more usable uh, space when you fold down the rear seats. It cre creates more of an open cargo spaces, which of course is, is perfect for large suitcases. Now the AMG body styling is bold and muscular, yet very flowing. You know, AMG lower uh, body work enhances both aesthetics and aerodynamics. And then of course out front, the deep front apron features a color keyed splitter and large air intakes. It does have the uh, flared side seals, which bridge the wheel arches and it actually makes it visu uh, visually hug the road. Uh, while the rear valance out back outlines those round four tailpipes and black central diffuser insert. Now, overall width of this vehicle is 81.5 inches, front track 65.9 inches, rear track 65.6 inches. It does ride on a wheelbase of 116.2 inches, overall length 199.2 inches, overall height 57.3 inches, ground clearance 4.6 inches, and it has a turning circle of 41.3 feet. It also has a 17.4 gallon fuel tank and its base curb weight 4,447 pounds. Let's take a look out front again. I love coming back to this angle because it's absolutely beautiful. Now, safety, it's not yet been rated by IIHS or National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Performance wise, zero to 60, 4.4 seconds, and I gotta tell you, it felt faster. Appearance, well, it's a coupe-like roof line that plunges behind the B-pillar uh, that gives you that sloping rear window with the long hood, the uh, flared fenders, and the swept back windshield. It all ends to a sense of style and speed, and I, I really can't find an angle that I like the best on this. Uh, dependability, bumper to bumper, powertrain and roadside assistance all covered for four years 50,000 miles and I did mention earlier the economy you're looking at 19 city 24 highway so 
why consider buying an AMG GT53? Well, it's difficult to overstate how smooth and evocative Mercedes' new straight six engine is. And we talked about this on the drive. It just pulls. And this car is effortlessly fast. Uh, it provides a supercar-like acceleration from standstill, or as we showed, at highway speeds. And it's an amazingly executed, high-performance sedan that also happens to be a perfect everyday driver. So that's my part, folks. Uh, I don't really want to hand it over to Nathan, but I'm going to. So coming up next, Nathan's going to take you for a tour of the, all the technology that's built into this car and uh, to show you some of the details that are built on the interior of this absolutely beautiful vehicle. So we're going to hand it over to Nathan right now. All right, starting on the driver's door here. I really love the uh, leatherette surfaces here as, as well as the uh, stitching. Um, I like the swoop line that comes down here. And then again, it comes up on the uh, door handle right here. And then of course you do have uh, auto up and down windows here. You've got your mirror controls here. You have your power folding there. And then up here you have all of your seat controls for your power seats as well as your power headrest, three person memory settings, and then your heated and ventilated seats. And then I love this. If you push this button here, all your power seat buttons control the passenger seat. Of course, we have the Burmeister speaker here in the door. And then down here below, we have got the, uh, we've got a bottle holder right here. And then plenty of storage. It is uh, felt lined, which is very nice. Then of course, you got your trunk release right here. Now, according, uh, as well as that, you've got a little illuminated red light. So when you open your door, people can see it. And then because this is the AMG, we have the illuminated AMG sill plate. Moving on to the inside, you're going to notice right away here the red AMG seat belts and the beautiful black Napa leather. Yeah, I like the AMG up in the headrest here. And then just the beautiful seats here. These are heated and ventilated front seats. And uh, one of the things that I really like is that these bolsters are set so that when you corner, they tighten up to help hold you in. Okay, over here you have a couple of things. You have your uh, power tilt and telescoping wheel, and then you do have your heated steering wheel right here, and then you can just twist that on or off. Down here, you've got, of course, your foot puddles. You got a nice deep foot rest right here. It's a very tall one. And then it does come with uh, AMG floor mats. They're not in right now. And then up here, you've got your electronic parking brake. And then you've got your fog lamps, your auto lights, and you have your dashboard and infotainment bright and dimness controller right here. Up here, you have your steering assist button. You have your lane keeping assist button parking sensors on or off, and then your uh, heads up display information right here. Now this does have the dual 12 inch screens. You're trying to find a good angle. Um, I love that this, this comes on as you're uh, just getting in the car. So we'll put our foot on the brake and push the start button. Love it, it says AMG here as it starts up on the infotainment screen. So down here, um, it does say AMG. It doesn't really matter what mode you're in. Somewhere on this, on the driver's information center, it's going to say AMG, which I really, really like. All right. That being said, we'll just back up quickly here. And over here, uh, you see on the steering wheel, um, I, I love how on this particular AMG, um, it's all chromed. It's our metal looking, I should say. I love the AMG written down here below. Um, but basically this side here is going to control your cruise control and your driver's information screen. And over here, this is going to control your infotainment screen right here. And then you have uh, buttons like volume up and down. You have a push for a mute. You've got phone on, phone off. You've got um, favorites down here and then voice command up here, the Hey Mercedes system. All right. That being said, let's move on over here. 
All right, so um, again, we're doing another detailed video on, on the inside, and we have a detailed video already on the, MBU, uh, on the MBUX system and on the infotainment screen and on the driver's information center. So that video is listed down below, and later we'll do a little bit more specific one on uh, some of the AMG-specific things on this car, and that will be in the uh, uh, link above and in our description below. But for now, on this general review, um, this is the uh, the dual 12.3 inch screens, and it is the um, Burmeister sound system, which is amazing. It's a surround sound and has just an incredible sound. Um, so that being said, I'm going to move on down to just the physical controls down here. Um, so for your temperature control, you have everything, all physical buttons, but you can also run them from the infotainment screen or the touchpad. So you basically got your temperature settings, this dual zone auto climate control. All right, so coming down here, we have some more uh, controls, but I really like this uh, metal looking uh, center console. This is really unique from the other Mercedes I've been in. It's just a distinctive look. So you do have a bunch of physical buttons. You have a total of eight of them right here on the sides and they're blacked out when the car's off. When you start the car, they, the graphics come up. Uh, real quickly, uh, basically this one is your ride mode selector. This one shifts you between drive and manual, uh, so you can paddle shift. This one adjusts your uh, sport suspension. This one is traction control on or off. This is simply volume for your infotainment system. This is where you turn your auto start stop on or off. This controls your rear spoiler, and then this changes the sound of the exhaust. Okay, on the shifter itself, and it's a little hard to see because uh, it's easy for the driver to see, but uh, underneath here, park, reverse, neutral, and driver are all highlighted. But basically, this is a push park button. And then in order to shift, you if you go down, there's two clicks on the shifter. If I go down one, I go to neutral. And if I go down two, I get to drive. Okay, and if I go up two, I get to reverse. Okay, I'll put it back in park. The other way to go into reverse is even easier. You just pull, push this up, and then you're in reverse. All right, moving back here to the uh, storage area. If I push that button, these open. I like these split doors. And then down in here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there are two USB charging outlets right here, and then there is an SD card uh, slot right there. And then there is a little storage shelf. I can't really, get my hand's in the way, but right here, there's another little storage shelf right in there. And it is felt lined. Okay. Over here on the passenger side, you have a lockable backlit glove compartment. So there is a light in here. And I'm gonna pull this out for a second here. It's all uh, soft touch plastic in here. And then up this area here is felt lined, but it goes oh, way up there. So very deep storage. And up here you have lighting controls, and then you have your SOS and Mercedes Me button up here. Over on the passenger's door, it's set up very similar to the driver's door. You've got bottle storage. You've got some nice storage behind that for other things. Um, you got your seat controls. It does have the three-person memory setting on that side as well, which I think is handy. And then, of course, your heated seats and part of your Burmeister surround sound system. All right, let's step in the back and see what it looks like. All right, so stepping in the back seat, uh, the first thing I notice is the bolsters. I like that. That feels really comfortable. On your passenger's door here, Along with the Burmeister speaker, you do have a heated seat three stage on both sides, okay? And you do have uh, some storage down in the bottom here, okay? You do have dual seat back pockets, and then you have, of course, your air vent controllers right here. You do have two cup holders here. You have a nice large storage area down here that's got a nice drip rubber mat on it and then two USB ports right there. You also have your reading lights right here which you can turn on or off with a button and then you do have a fold out um, hanging pin right here you can hang a shirt on or something 
but it retracts really nicely right back into the ceiling. As far as legroom goes, um, seats were left where Rob and I had them. You can tell I've got, you know, about two inches of space there, which is really nice. I'm not anywhere close to hitting anything. My feet are fitting comfortably underneath the seat. And then as far as headroom goes, you know, I've got, uh, you know, about an inch, a little, bit, a little bit over an inch. So plenty of headroom. I'm not scraping anywhere, which is really nice. So, you know, for, for two other people getting in back here, I think this would be a pretty comfortable ride. One of the things I really like is in the back, it does have a rear window shade. Uh, it is manual, but you can just simply pop it up like that and you get a little bit of uh, protection from either high beam lights at night or uh, sun during the day. All right, and that is the uh, general review of the interior. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, we have another video detailing some of the specific things on the AMG package. Okay, favorite thing. It's one of those uh, items that if you've never had it before, you don't realize how much you appreciate it, but it's these dynamic side bolsters. As soon as you get into a, a turn, a corner, that uh, opposite side that you would be pushed over to actually inflates and actually helps hold you in place far better than if it was just a regular padded side bolster. So that is my favorite thing. Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's a speed limit already. Whoa, you jump from 46 to 65 that fast. It just, yeah, just instantly. Oh, yeah. I know if you're picking that up in the camera, the video, but. Oh. I love the crackle. Oh, I know that. Bop, 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 bop. Just. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> we just left everybody in the dust. I don't even try. All right. So honestly, seriously, there's a gas station here, so I am going to pull over. No, he's not. And sadly, let Rob drive. No, he's not. He just keeps going by these places and slowing down, and then he kicks it in again, and we go another three miles, and <laughs> I never get in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you could ever get tired of driving this car. Get oh, out. hi. Do I know you? Get out. Get out. No, I'm not riding in the back seat this time. Oh, that might be a fun place to be. You just like me further away from you, don't you? Well, <sighs> later we could see if you fit in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! I'm back. We're going to talk about cargo space now. All right.